okay, well, here's the bicycle level of service for all of the, the, the streets in the city. But what if I want to go to the various destinations? Is it bikeable to get to those? Is, that's what the, the, the term bikeability is referring to. So let me bring in some destinations. I could choose any destinations, but for example, that I have the grocery stores in the city of Moscow. So there they are. There are actually only four grocery stores in Moscow, and this fifth grocery store is one that's proposed. It's not there right now. And we want to know, is it bikeable to get to these grocery stores? If we lived in a, a residential area, say in this neighborhood or any neighborhood, how bikeable is it to these grocery stores? So the next thing we need to do is bring in some analysis zones. And this could be a parcel file, or it could be just some zones that were created. And so that's what I have here. These are the zones that we're going to do the analysis for to calculate bikeability. We're going to run the tool, calculate community bike bikeability. And here it is, explains how the tool works and what the output's going to be. And the first thing it wants to know is the bikeway network. Uh, the bikeway network actually is streets and shared use. And we'll go to that bikeways, streets and pathways. And now it wants to know where's our analysis zone. We're going to go to these analysis zones. And then it wants to know where are the destinations. And again, the destinations are those grocery stores. Let me go back and open up that attribute table. So here are the grocery stores. There are Winco, Safeway, Co-op, and Rosars. Those are existing. And then there's this fourth grocery store, which is proposed, and it's not existing. Well, what we're going to need to do is associate points with each destination. So we'll give equal points to all the grocery stores, but we could give more points to a particular grocery store if we wanted. We'll give equal points to all of them, and we won't give any points to the one that's not existing in the current condition. And in the proposed condition, we'll give equal points to all of them, including the new proposed grocery store. So you see here, it's asking for that file. This is the destinations file. And then it's asking for the destination points. Click on this and we'll go to this temp folder which I created and we'll call this bikeability and we'll make it scenario one and we'll click on that we'll hit OK and the tool starts to run okay this tool is just about finished running it's finalizing the output now and in a moment it will provide the output there it's completed and on my computer it took four and a half minutes on other computers it might take up to 15 minutes. So let's look at the output. Let me close this. What it's doing is it's shading with a darker color the zones that have better bikeability and it's scaled from 0 to 100. So here in this area, not surprisingly, the bikeability is quite high because it's close and easier access to the four existing grocery stores, the best bikeability being about in the middle. Now, further on the edges of town, bikeability is worse because it's a longer distance to get to any of the four grocery stores. So now let's turn that off and run it again. What we see here is the same output that I've clipped and put into PowerPoint. And now, when I click on this image, the second image, this is scenario two with the new grocery store. And you can see then there was an improvement in bikeability in the northeast area. Now, the great thing about this tool is right here we're seeing an improvement in bikeability due to a land use change. So if we were to add new bike lanes connecting these destinations or connecting out to some different analysis zone on the edge of town, then the bikeability would also be improved along that new infrastructure. To illustrate that, let me go to this figure. and We used a fictitious two-centered community, and the blue dots represent the destinations and the lines actually the per, our perfect grid of streets and we gave uh, level of service bicycle level of service of a C or D to all of these uh, streets with the perfect grid um, now depending on whether it was a C or D you see that the the bicycle the bikeability score uh, is is shown in the colors and there's obviously higher bikeability when you're right close to all of the destinations but the in-between and on the outskirts it has poor bikeability now that's scenario one when we click on this this is scenario two and this one we're highlighting that there was a new bike path put in with bicycle level service a the entire length of the path 
the bikeability all along the path has improved because anyone that would live out here on this path has a more comfortable and safe uh, and more convenient way to get to the destinations. You can also use parcel file for your destinations. Let me open up this parcel file attribute table. You see this is uh, providing the address for every parcel and then also what the land use is for that parcel, so commercial public government. And then what I've done is I've provided points for each land use type. So residential, we don't think of that as a destination, that's more of an origin, so I gave that a point value of zero. For commercial land, we give it 20. For public and government institutional, 15. Some public involvement activity where restaurants get so many points and the bank gets so many points, elementary schools and uh, public parks get different points.